Okay, this video is to teach you how to download an FTP client and then subsequently log into an FTP site and transfer files. So the first thing you need to do is download an FTP client if there's not one available on your computer. I recommend a program called FileZilla. So if you open any internet browser and go to the following site https colon slash slash filezilla dash project dot org it'll take you to the file filezilla website then you need to select download filezilla client and choose the windows 64-bit version now I already have this program installed so I'm not going to go through the installation process but it should be pretty straightforward so go ahead and do that and you can pause this video and when you're done pick up uh, where I'm headed to next okay after you have FileZilla downloaded you can open up that program and this should be what it looks like so the easiest way to do this, if, you're, if it's a website that you're, or an FTP site that you're going to continually log into, I would go to File and Site Manager, and we're going to create a new site that will allow us uh, to re-log into this location later on without having to retype our information. So you see here I have the old al.ftp server already uh, typed in for an example, but we're going to go ahead and create a new one for the upcoming FTP site. So click New Site, and we're going to call it New Al dot F FTP Geo Server. Okay. Over here in the General tab, for host, you want to type type in sftp dot dot state dot al dot us. You can leave the port blank; it'll fill that in for you. And you can leave the protocol and encryption just as they are here. Choose the normal logon type. The password is going to be, excuse me, the username will be consultants. And the password is capital M, capital Y, lowercase m, lowercase t, lowercase n, lowercase t, 2016, exclamation point. Okay. Now, when you're done with this, uh, you can leave all of these other tabs the same as they will be and you're going to hit connect now because their FTP site is not up and running yet we're going to get a timeout error but that's okay once they have it running this should work in the meantime I'm going to show you what it looks like if you have an FTP site that is already working so we're going to go back to site manager and choose the old al.ftp server which is still working and I'm going to hit connect and when you do You'll see up here, you'll get a status directory listing of whatever it is successful. Okay, down below you have two windows. One on the left side, you'll see it says local site. This is where you browse to folders on your own computer. And you'll see under here there are mapped network drives to all of the servers across the offices, Huntsville, Dothan, wherever you need to be. Today I'm just going to click on desktop to show you how it works. And then over on the right side, you'll see the remote folders from the FTP server that you've logged into. So you can navigate through these. You'll see under geotechnical consultants, there's CDG and a bunch of others. Um, today we're going to go to the FHWA folder just because there's a document in there that we can move over. So you'll see once you click on the folder up here above, all the files in that folder are displayed below, right below that file structure. And any files that you want to move over you can just click and drag to the left and that'll put it on your local machine If you need to select multiple just hold down shift and click and we'll see what happens when we drag you'll see a transfer bar and you'll have some file transfer successful notifications up here at the top and if we minimize this window you can see that the three files I moved to showed up on my desktop And that's really all there is to it. Uh, when you are done with this, you can simply close the uh, FileZilla application and it will log you out of the FTP server.